Hey y'all, we hey. wanted. Hey. Oh, say hi. <laughs> we wanted to uh, talk with you about our goals for 2018. Yep. Well, we had a list. We did. We had a list, and then. I don't know what happened to it. We lost the list. It's, it's gone somewhere. That's how we roll. But um. But we can talk about our goals because yeah. we got them right here. We have a lot of goals, a lot of wants, needs. Wish list. The biggest thing on our wish list is probably an A2A2 cow. Yes, jersey. that's on the wish list because that yeah. probably won't happen this year, but we'd really love to get an A2A2 jersey. We'll, we'll see. Um, but the biggest thing on the goal list that has to happen is a chicken plucker. Chicken plucker, yep. We're going to start raising our own meat birds again, get a chicken plucker so that we can pluck over 100 birds at a time. So well, we'll not raise... at one time, but in one day, one more. Yeah, all in one <laughs> process. No, no. Like, It'll do like what two or three at a time, yeah. I think. But um, yeah, and then we want to raise enough poultry for us mm -hmm. and to make a to profit, sell, and sell profit. some to make a profit. We want to pay for what we're, you know, using for our family right. and what we're raising for ourselves. But we also would love to make a profit because you know our ideal goal for our family and for our farm is to make it a profitable um, stream of income for us. Yes. So that's uh, exciting. So definitely, we were going to get a plucker last year, and that just didn't pan out didn't with the happen. truck we engine replacement truck engines and all kinds of stuff <laughs> so that um but that's the huge on. goal um of course getting the garden going and making a successful garden this year is a big deal last year's right. was not great because our soil wasn't good um but we want to be able to grow enough to preserve food for the whole year along with you know saving seeds for yeah, this, this year. year this year will be much much better much more fertile soil because we've been feeding the cows the goats and the horses in the garden spot the which hay. is fenced off separate from everything else but we've just we've put a gate in and opened it up to the livestock and that's where we're feeding we're putting our uh, certified organic round bales of hay in there so not only is the hay getting on the ground kind of like a deep mulch and breaking bed down. and breaking down they're trampling it in they're also pooping everywhere yes they're <laughs> fertilizing, fertilizing it in place. so it's composting in place composting in place so, yeah. um that's been really that's good been, they've been doing that we've been feeding in there for two months Probably well, at least, right? A month right? and a half, two months, yeah. It's been I'd a while. say about two yeah. months, maybe more. Yeah, I don't know. It's been a while. Yeah. Um, what else? We had a list. Um, Where to go? So chicken plucker, better garden, starting seeds, saving seeds, um, wish list was an A2, A2 jersey. Mm-hmm. Um, We've like talked we about a breeding gold. pair of pigs. We just yes. right now we don't know for sure what breed we want to yes. settle on. And yeah, we're we, not sure. Um, we've always raised feeder pigs, and um, ideally we'd like to, you know. Yeah, we we thought about the um, American guinea hogs. American guinea hogs, but I don't know. They're they're so small, and butchering a pig is a lot of work. So I think, to me, I don't see where it's much more work to butcher a, a big Large hog breed. like three hundred and seventy pounds versus 150, 150 pound hogs so yeah. um y'all can comment those if you yeah. all have uh done both let us know i mean what, we like the fact think. that they're a heritage breed yes. which we can get a larger breed that's heritage as well right but we like that they're more of a grazing hog obviously any pig can root but the yeah. breeds that are less inclined to root are important because we're pasture raising everything right. we need our pasture um but like we we, we butcher would. a pig and if we have a 300 pound pig that meat lasts us you know six to eight weeks it, yeah. of course we don't have any chicken or beef in the freezer right now so we're eating a lot of the pork and we're having yeah. to buy our beef from the store and our chicken from the store so um once we butcher steer and we have think, chickens and we have everything it'll last longer but it'll last longer but still yeah it's still the, the work i mean you you're you're butchering you're scalding or skinning whatever you do and then Cutting it all up. You're investing that much time. Yeah, it's that much time. It's just a little bit more meat to cut up in the end. Right. Which I think is worth the larger so breed. So I think a smaller breed won't last this as right. long. Right. We'd have to do two or three small ones several. at a time versus. I still really one big like one. them though. I don't know. Yeah, they're they're pretty cool looking things. I don't know. So you let us know what you think. What yes. Your if you have experience with that, please comment and let mm -hmm. us know. Obviously, butchering um, steer. We're actually going to send them off to the butcher. We don't have. <laughs> We don't have the facilities, facilities for that, the equipment for that. Here. but um, that's something this spring we're going to get him fat enough and get Chuck sent off, so we'll have yes. that. That's we're feeding thing. him chaff hay and hay, and hopefully a little bit more grass before he goes off to the butcher if our grass comes back. We'll see about that, yeah. too. But some of this is gold. Some of this is just um, things that are happening or going to happen this year. Like yeah. Both the goats 
are bred and settled as far as we know, and they're due to kid in April. So one beginning of April and the other mid-April. So we'll be having so goat babies goat and, kids. and fresh goat milk. So that'll be exciting. Yes. It'll be fun, and I want to learn soap making. That's been on my to-do list for years. Years. Like six years. I've been like, I'm going to make soap this year, and then every year I don't make soap. And you can make but goat milk soap. I'll make goat milk soap. Okay. So if you make soap, give me some tips, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. All right. Is that anything else? I'm sure we'll think of more, but just keep following us. Yeah, we'll and go to the pole barn. That's oh, another one. that was a huge yeah, one. We, we did a video talking about that. Yes, we have most of the materials. Actually, we the only thing we're lacking is the roofing, yeah. the actual roof sheeting. But um, I have to go get the posts still. Yeah, uh, they're, they're, they're ours, there. They're ours. I just have to go get them. And um, that will give us a couple of stalls and also a tack slash feed room, so we can get the saddles off the back slash of the storage room. Yeah. Get all the saddles off the back of the couch and get the feed in the actual room rather than the stock trailer. Yep. Um, that would be really great. It and then we awesome. need the stalls done anyways before April because we need kidding kid. stalls. And, yep. Um, Are you serious? You're just kidding about that. Huh. Anyway. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're so funny. Um, but yeah, so just, um, I'm sure, like I said, everything's always changing around here and Yes. Our goals may more. change. And, yeah, and if so they just do, keep following us. We'll let you know. <laughs> keep you updated on what's going on. Yep. Tomorrow we're going to get hay. Going to get hay. Big trip. Of Eight hay. round bales and 25 square bales of non sprayed perennial peanut hay. Yep. And the round bales are certified organic. Yep. We're going to get a big trailer. We'll video it. It'll yep. be a road trip. We'll video it. It'll be good. And, uh, Animals will be happy. But right now I'm hungry. We're getting ready to make homemade pizza. Yep. With kamut flour. Kamut flour. Let's do it. All right, sounds good. All right. See y'all right. later.